Where is the date for the day to start the negotiations? Say this graffiti in the center of Skopje, an ironic reference to the unfulfilled promises of the government of North Macedonia and EU for the start of the membership negotiations. North Macedonia changed its constitutional name and resolved a three decades long dispute with its southern neighbor Greece, with promises from the EU member states that it will set the country on the road to accession talks. Up to now, attempts at starting negotiations have been blocked, first by France, which asked for a new methodology in the enlargement process, and then by the eastern neighbor Bulgaria, which has disputed the existence of the cultural and historical identity of the Macedonians. These conditions that have been keeping North Macedonia in a status quo since it received its candidate status in 2005 have led to a sharp decline in the EU's credibility within the country. This was the conclusion of the latest research of the Euro-Atlantic Council. As we can see, unfortunately, the EU, EU skeptics and NATO skeptics are becoming uh, more vocal in, uh, in our country. Uh, we can see that obvious from the last, uh, uh, last uh, elections in the country, where this frustration, I would say, from the, from the, uh, from the uh, membership uh, accession process uh, was manifested through these uh, this, uh, skeptic, uh, st skeptical parties. And they, they were, I would say, the only winners in the last uh, two elections in the country. Nikola Dimitrov is vice president for European Integrations, who is known to the public as a politician with a clear pro-European orientation and who led the negotiations with Greece for signing the PRESPA agreement. If uh, the EU fails to deliver on promises uh, on an agreement that was praised so widely and, and highly, what is the lesson for Belgrade and Pristina? Or the lesson for the issues that Bosnia and Herzegovina has been facing, in particular in these last days and weeks? So, um, if we are to solve the big problems in the Balkans, we need the EU to continue to be a force for good. And on our case, it's quite questionable because of this lack of delivery, uh, that the EU is indeed a force for good. The country accepted the adjective Lord to clear its road to EU, but after several years of unfulfilled promises, as graphics say, here the adjective Lord has been replaced with Macedonia alone. In Skopje for Euronews, Borjan Jovanovski.